personally to me it's a national treasure that nobody knows about. It's my identity. Pete Yachty, everybody knows Pete Yachty, he lives down there on the Wabash. He's out there in it every day. Well, I've been fishing in the Wabash for over 70 years. That's something I've enjoyed and can't give it up. Something that draws me to it. It's like a medication. Gets rid of my stress. Them old history and songs and people that talked about the Wabash. Back in the old day, I think it was recognized as a national treasure. We've lost all that. The Wabash River is Indiana's river. Communities have been built along the Wabash River. People have flocked to the Wabash River, and it's to the point that we're almost loving it to death. We are overusing it, and we are interacting with it so much that we are having a direct impact on the quality of water that's in the river. While the Wabash River provides drainage for many of our towns and cities, it also provides drainage for our agricultural lands. That water will often carry with it excess nutrients or sediment that deteriorate the water quality, impact our drinking water supply, and certainly impact the species that occur in the Wabash and many species that occur downstream all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. While no one is ever intended to lose nutrients or sediment off of their farmland, it's a process that does occur. Since 1996, the USGS has actually been collecting water samples and stream flow data in New Harmony near the mouth of the Wabash River where it flows into the Ohio and then the Mississippi. Starting in 2018, there was a big push to install continuous water quality monitors. That was the birth of the USGS Wabash Super Gauge. Data is collected here through our continuous monitors every 15 minutes. We're capturing 90% of the Wabash watershed here at this point. The more data that we can collect on the Wabash helps us to tell that story and to better understand the river as a whole. People want to make decisions based on good science. That's what led us to working with the partners to place the super gauge in the Wabash River in the lower end of it so we could actually have real data, real time to look at what the water quality actually is, not using models, not using random samples. The super gauge allows us to make good decisions going forward. Every drop of water that falls on our farm ends up in the Wabash River. I would say the major challenge that the river basin is currently facing is a lot of unprotected acres. When we get these huge, heavy downpours, we're just ending up with a lot of runoff in the water, and it's you know, putting a lot of pressure on the river and then also the surrounding land when the river floods out. The strategy is to always keep the soil covered so that as you're getting rain, that soil is never being disturbed or displaced. We're in a no-till cover crop management system, whereas our neighbors are either conventional or minimum till. The sediment in the water that we're seeing coming down is off of the neighbors along with whatever else is in that soil. The roadside ditch coming into here, that's our water and it's not running very heavy and the water that is running is clear. It's something that we just need to do everything we can to protect it and mitigate it. The Nature Conservancy prides ourselves as our foundation being that of science. We now have the data that allows us to work with partners to identify the appropriate conservation practices to work with the farmers to try to keep those sediments and nutrients out of the water. Our state has a real treasure in the Wabash River. It's something that we really need to make sure that we protect and that we care for because it is Indiana's river. You can pretty much say everything I do is connected to the Wabash River. 
I was one of the very few that hung on to it. <laughs> we don't even have to bring a pole. We just go out in the middle of this thing, drop this anchor, sit here and look around. We don't have to catch anything. We just sit there and enjoy it. I mean, people go out west and look to Grand Canyon and this, that, and the other. To me, this Wabash is just as beautiful. We have to take care of it. <laughs>